Hello. Now, when creating a web application, at some point of time, you will definitely want to attach images and other file types in your application. And this is one of the topics that I would really like to cover and make a few videos about. Now, previously, historically, there were two really popular libraries for adding attachments in a Ruby on Rails application. There was Shrine and another gem, Paperclip. But uh, recently, Paperclip was depreciated in favor of a new Rails way of adding attachments named Active Storage. So basically the Rails framework incorporated and uh, developed on their own a way of making attachments in a Ruby on Rails application named Active Storage. And now we're going to go through installing and using Active Storage step-by-step, -step, feature by feature, and see how it works. So at the moment, we have a basic Ruby on Rails application where a user can log in and uh, we can create posts and edit posts. And we're going to make it so that a post has uh, an attached uh, image like an avatar, for example. So let's uh, install Active Storage. Now going into the Active Storage docs, we have this command Rails Active Storage install. So we're going to run this command. I'm taking Rails Active Storage install and let's see what it does. It copies a migration, create active storage tables. Okay, let's have a look at this migration. I will go to uh, db migrate and here we have create active storage tables. So it creates a few tables, actually three tables that we need to, to properly manage all the attachments in our application. So I will type rails db migrate to add this to our Ruby on Rails application. And let's see further. Now we want to attach an image to our posts. So here we have this chapter, attaching files to records, and we have this has one attached. So let's say a post has one attached avatar. Now for this, I'm going to our application and here we have models post.rb. And here we're going to add has one attached avatar. Okay. And we are going to add a file field for an avatar in our views, in our post form. So that when we create or edit post, we can add the, an avatar. Now at the moment we have a field for a title and for content. And we're going to create a new field for avatar. Okay, avatar. And the type is going to be not text field and not text area, but file field. So it is a file field for an avatar. Okay, let's start our server and see if it works. So I started the server. I will try to create a new post. And I get this undefined method, file field. Okay, I made a typo. So it is file field like this. And here we have this file field. So I will press the button, uh, browse and you see, I can uh, not select multiple, I can select only one. So I'm going to try to attach an avatar. Let's uh, give it some kind of title with avatar. Okay, and I press create post. And it says that the post was successfully created, but does the post really have an avatar? Let's check our logs. So I'm going to the logs and here we get this unpermitted parameter avatar. Well, this is because we need to add avatar to the whitelisted strong params in our posts controller. So I'm going to go to the controllers. Here we have our controllers, posts controller, and I'm going to whitelist the avatar parameter. Okay, and once again, let's go edit our post and add an avatar. Okay, I press update post and let's see what happened. So it says, disk storage, uploaded file to key, okay. And we also have this active storage blob load. So basically we uh, created, uh, we uploaded our file, our image to our disk storage, and we associated this file with our post. Now, what is this disk storage and what is this key? So now we are running our development environment, right? Let's go to our config environments development.rb and here we have our settings for storing files and we have the setting by default config active storage service local so 
what is this local standing for? Now it gives us a prompt to look in config storage via ML. Let's have a look at what this file does. So I'm going to config storage via ML. And here we have this uh, file that gives the information of about where we want our files stored. So by default, it is local and local says service disk and root rails joins storage. So basically it creates a storage uh, folder inside our Ruby on Rails application. Now let's see this folder. So here is the storage folder. It creates the storage folder, okay. And inside the storage folder, it creates a file with such a name. So we can even try to find this file here. So uh, here it actually is H0 and so on. Now, if I try to open this file in my ID, it gives me an error, but basically this is uh, our attached uh, image. Okay, now let's uh, try to display the image in our view. So in our post show, we will want to display this image. So let's go to our views. I'm going to our application. Here we have our views, post show, and we are going to try to display the post avatar. So I will have avatar, and I will have at post dot avatar. Let's see what it gives us. Okay, so it says that uh, an avatar is associ an association to active storage attachments. Okay, but it still doesn't display the avatar. Let's say we want to have a an, an image tag for the post avatar. Let's see. And here is this uh, image of the post avatar. Now it is uh, full size, so it doesn't look really nice. Let's uh, edit it. Let's say width will be 100%. So it will be full screen as much as our container allows. And here it is, already looks better. Let's make it not 100%, but let's say 200 pixels. Okay, now the image is much smaller. So we managed to upload and save an image. Now let's try to view one of the other posts that doesn't have an attached image. I'll go to another post. I'll go to this post show. And you see it says, cannot resolve image into URL. Undefined method persisted. So this uh, post does not have an, amateur, uh, an avatar and it uh, cannot display an image for something that doesn't exist. So in active storage settings, we have this uh, way to check if an avatar is attached. We can just call if the post has an avatar, then we will display the image tag. Let's say if at post.avatar.attached, then we'll have this image tag like this and works. So this post does not have an avatar, Let's go to the 11th post and it has an avatar. So we don't get this uh, issue anymore. Now, what did we do? We went to our uh, post RB and said has one attached avatar. Then in the form, we added this uh, file field for uploading an avatar so that it looks uh, like this. We can actually browse a file on our computer. Then in post controller, we white listed the avatar params so that it can be uh, uploaded and basically in our development RB we have settings for active storage service we're going to work on this more later on and in our show we said that uh, if the post has an attached avatar then we want to display an image tag for this avatar and basically we have succeeded in the mission of displaying one avatar for a post we can even go to our posts list and uh, display an avatar for the post here so let's add a new column, let's say avatar. And let's say equals at image tag for post avatar. Uh, and it will be available uh, if, uh, let's say, if post.avatar.attached. Let's see if this works. And it works. Now, of course, the size is too big, so let's make it smaller. So it, I'll say width will be uh, 50 pixels, like this. Will it work? Yes, it works. So now we see the posts that have an attached avatar. 
And let's say we'll try to change the avatar for this post. Let's uh, go to avatars, let's take another image and upload. And what happens? So we have just replaced the image. So works fine. Okay, now we managed to add one avatar, but what if we want to add multiple images to a post? Well, now we are going to see how we can use has many attached. So going further in the documentation, we have this method for has many attached. So let's say our post will be able to have many attached images. Now, first I will save our changes. So I'll say git status, git add all, git commit main, install active storage, and uh, post has fun avatar. Okay, coming back, now we're going to work on has many attached. So a post can have many attached images. Okay, I'm adding has many attached images. And let's go further. So we're going to permit multiple images. Now, previously in our controller, we permitted one avatar, and now we're going to permit multiple images. And previously in our form, we created a file field for avatar. Now we are going to create a file field for images. And we are going to specify multiple true, like this. Let's see. Okay, I will restart the server. So let's go to the same post that we worked on before. And yeah, it should be not avatar, it should be images here. So form label images. Yeah, makes more sense. So I'm going to browse and let's say I will want to upload a few images. You see, now I can select a few images. It is because I added this multiple true. Now, if I don't add multiple true, I go to images and I can just not uh, select multiple images. So I'm adding multiple true. And you see, it all even changes. No files selected. And here we have no file selected. So now I'm going to add a couple of images and try to attach them. I say update post. And did it save? Let's see in our logs. So yeah, it says that uh, two files were uploaded. We can see disk storage uploaded file to key. So basically it seems to have worked. Now let's try to display all these uh, attached images. Let's go to our posts show and let's also display all the images. So the way we displayed avatar, we will have images and it will say if post.images.attached, this way we're going to check whether post has multiple images attached. We are going to iterate through all the images. Let's say equals at post.images.each do image. And we're going to have uh, image tag to image and width 200 pixels. Okay, and one more end statement here, and let's see if it works. Okay, so we have two attached images. Works really nice. So we managed to attach one avatar and multiple images. Let's uh, once again go to edit. Let's replace these images with some kind of other images. Update post. It saves the other three images and everything seems to work well. So what did we do? In our post OB, we said has many attached images. In the form, we said that form field, well, file field for images, and we can add multiple. And in the post controller, we wildlisted adding multiple images. And just in the show, we iterated through all the images and said that uh, we want to display each of them. So looks fine. But what if we want to add something that is not an image? Let's say we want to add in the avatar some kind of file. So I will go to the uh, desktop. I'll try to add this text file and update. And you see, uh, it, it uh, saved the file, 
but it cannot display the file as an image because the file is not an image. So this is it for the first part. And uh, further, we're going to work on uh, working with different kinds of uh, files and uploading files to a cloud storage like Amazon S3. And thank you for being with me.